During this semester, we, you will find out we use recursion, design recursive based algorithm a lot. In this video, we emphasize substitution methods and master methods for recursive algorithm. First, let's take a look at example where we use substitution methods. Assume we already derived a recurrence relation t1 equal to 1, tn equal to 2, tn minus 1 plus c1. Here, c1 it is a constant. Now let's see what it expects us to do. First, we would like to define, we want to find out is tn is a function of, this is a function of, of n. Is some function of n, right? So this will not be is a function of n, not t n minus one, and such that we wanted to get rid of t n minus one, right? And to get rid of that, we use this recurrence relation. The reason it is. From here, from Tn, we can infer Tn minus 1 is equal to 2 times Tn minus 2 plus C1. C1 is constant. And such that Tn is equal to 2 times what we have the Tn minus 1 replaced by this one, right? So that is 2 times 2 times Tn minus 2 and here plus C1 plus c1, right? This is exactly is what we have the t n minus 1, right? This is what we have t n minus 1. And then, and such that this is equal to 2 to the power of 2 plus, let's put it here, times t n minus 2 plus 2 power of 1 plus 2 power of 0 times c1, right? It's times c1. Okay. Now, the question we have to get rid of this one. Get rid of t n minus 2. We use the same procedure. We see the t n minus 2 can be replaced with t n minus 2. t n minus 2 is equal to 2 tn minus 3, right? Because based on this recursion, what do you have here? You can replace n with n minus 2, right? Plus plus c1, right? And such that we can have Tn equal to, we replace Tn minus 2 with the whole right term here. So we have 2 to the power of 3 times Tn minus 3 plus 2 to the power of 2 plus 2 power of 1 plus 2 power of 0 C1, right? Constant. And then we can continue this procedure. Then we could have, we replace this Tn minus 3, and we could have Tn function based on the Tn minus 4. If we continue this one based on the different induction, and then we could have this is n minus 1 Tn, let's move this one to here, Tn minus n minus 1, right? Plus, based on what you see, you observe here, this could be 2 to the power of n minus 2 plus 2 to the power of n minus 3 plus, plus 2 plus 2 to the power of 0, c1. So Tn is equal to since this is a t1, it's equal to 2 to the power of n minus 1 plus 2 to the power of n minus 2 
plus 2 to the power of n minus 3 plus 1 plus 2 0. And we see this is equal to 2 to the power of n minus 1. And if we reduce the no term, if we reduce the coefficient, this is equal to O to the power of n, right? So this is used to reiteration. We refer, we infer Tn is to O to n. Sometimes we also want to test that. We wanted to test it to see if what we find out this time complex is correct. Then in that case, we can prove that. We say assume, let's see, we assume Tn it is O to the power of n. So this is also equal to k because k is constant, right? And to the power of n because we ignore coefficient plus k2. k2 could be no order term. And such that we have t n minus 1 is equal to k1 to the power of n minus 1 plus k2, right? Make sense. And then we say, okay, tn is equal to 2, let's move here, tm minus 1 plus c1. We replace tm minus 1 to be what we have here. Let's go to the next line. Then we have tn equal to 2 k1 to the power of n minus 1, right? Plus 2 k2 plus c1. So here we have k1 to the power of n plus 2 k2 plus c1. Since, since k1 is coefficient, right? This is a coefficient. And also corresponding to a constant, right? K2 is lower order term. And such that we can ignore, we can ignore the lower case term. C1 is constant. We can ignore 2 times k2 plus c1, we can ignore k1. And such that we do have tn equal to o to the power of n, right? Okay, so we use this way to prove that. Let's save the loads. Okay, now we go to the next slides. The next slides we emphasize the master theory in master masters. And here we have a and b larger than a larger than or equal to 1, b larger than 1, and be a constant, let's fn be a function, and tn be defined on long negative integers by the recurrence relation tn equal to a, ta, tn divided by b plus fm. We say this formula corresponding to u divide n i term into different groups. Each group is n divided by b, right? And then we have such a groups. And this is we divide that. And to conquer, for each with the runtime of tn is equal to runtime of tn divided by b, we have a such a times Tn divided by B, right? Plus the runtime for concord. 
we use Fn to represent the runtime for merge procedure or conquer procedure. And in the one of the slides, you know, analytic uh, algorithm analytics, and we, um, we talk about if we have multiple terms in the runtime, we use maximum maximum runtime as the final results. So this reason we check Fn with the runtime on this part. So we see if Fn if uh, Fn it is upper bound by if Fn is the case one, right? It's case one, also same as what we have here, is upper bound by n log ba is a function. Then we say Fn is upper bound this one. Then we use this one as the results. So the Tn will be O n log ba. The case one. Case two, we say Fn actually here corresponding to the slides here, case three. If Fn is lower bound by n log ba, in that case, we say Tn is equal to exactly big O Fn, right? If the case two. For some reason, Fn is tightly bound by n log ba, then what we have? We have tn is equal to n log ba fn, right? So this is the master masters. Now let's take a look at the example. So first take a look at this recursion. From this recursion, we see exactly we assume in this one, let's let's write down here. Okay. So take a look at this recursion. Look at this recur recurrence relation. Right? We see we have Tn is equal to Tn divided by 2 plus 1. We assume T smaller number here, it is just a constant, right? Constant runtime is one corresponding constant runtime. And in such case, we have based on the master definite master theorem, we say based on master theorem, we have A equal to one b equal to two and fn fn equal to one right and we want to check let's see we define define Gn equal to n log ba, right? So this is equal to n log 1, 2. This is equal to what? This is equal to 0 because it's equal to 1, right? Okay. Then in that case, In this case, Fn is exactly tight bound by Gn. You may ask why this is tight bound when we, in one of the slides, we show you in the in the last video, we talk about we can use limit to check which one 
has you no know, two function, give you two function. We can use a uh, um, limit function to check uh, asymptotic order. So we say limit n goes to infinity. What do we have the fn divided by Let's rewrite here. Okay, so limit n goes to infinity f n divided by g n. Right? We say when n goes to infinity, what is the tendency of this runtime f n and g n? And so here we have limit n go to infinity one and one. So this is one. We say if the one corresponding to f and n, f n and g n, they are in the same asymptotic order, right? In that, then we claim f n is in the same asymptotic order. as gn right okay and since it's the, the same symbolic order so we say it falls into case two of must method master theorem so we we have Tn equal to equal to Fn log n, right? It's go to Fn log n. So we have n log n here, right? So this is the runtime. This is runtime. Okay. Let's just save this save these loads. And you can go to here and check the loads. Okay, that's good. Okay, let's go to the next one. Okay, then you can use the same method to check for this case. Here, to lead you think about that, you can use your sketchbook. You can follow the same procedure. It's still sharing. So you can follow the same procedure. And since it's still sharing, now I would like to continue. So Tn, so we see here, use the master theorem. Okay, so now it's good. Okay, good. So now we can fo focus on this one. So based on must theorem, we have a equal to 4, B equal to 2, Fn equal to 1, right? And then let's define Gn equal to N log Ba, then we have N log 4, 2, right? So we have N square. And then we compare Compile, write it, down, write it down here. Compile the symptotic order of Gn and Fn. And then in that case, we have, let's just say, we follow this procedure. Doesn't matter which one you put.
let's erase this one and redo that so let's just compare this symptotic order of fn and gn by using limit method then we have the n goes to infinity fn is 1 and the gn is n square and we say when n goes to infinity this is equal to 0 in that case we see f n has a smaller symptotic order of gn then it corresponded to fn has a smaller than this gn right gn will go faster than fn so in such that fn is upper bound by gn right and then by using master method master serial then we have tn since we choose the bigger one right so this will be n square can you see okay i think this is the for the solution for this question okay now we can check for the next one in the next one we use the same method and when you, you know, check these slides or you know, take a look at the video i really would like you use your sketchbook and then in this one we say based on must theorem we have a equal to 2 b equal to 4 f n equal to 1 right so let's define let's denote g n equal to n log b a so what we have we have a half right exactly so this is two this is four right two of two yeah that's true that's correct and then in that case it is uh, we want to check which one is faster right so based on what we understand definitely the gn to the one half that will be you know uh, has a symptotic order greater than fn right so in that case it is tn should be choose the big one is equal to o n okay so this is the solution for this question and then we see the um, in the algorithm analysis people can interview people or then you know, test you know test, no you know for us if we want to, to check you understand or not understand we can check from different you no know, different perspectives why is we give you description we want you to find out the recurrence relation and also based on this recurrence relation you find out and solve this this time complexity of the recurrence for example take a look at this one this is a fried ham hamburgers is one interview question there are n hamburgers to be fried on small grill that can hold only two hamburgers at one time let's give you a story background right n hamburgers to be fried on small grill and each can each time can only handle for two hamburgers each hamburg has to be fried on both sides so it means one side take one step, the other side take another step, we need to have two steps, right? Fry, fr fr frying one side of a hamburg takes one minute, regardless whether one or two hamburgs are fried at the same time. So if you put the you know, hamburgs in on the grill and one side one minute, you know, two sides you need to have two minutes. Consider the following recursive algorithm for executing this task in the minimum amount of time. If n is less than or equal to two fried hamburg or the two hamburgs together on each side. If n larger than two, fry only two hamburgs together on each side.
Then apply the same procedure recursively to the remaining n minus two Hamburg. So in this part, it defines recursive relation. If n is most smaller than or equal to two, and then in that case, you treat it as the one, the single steps, right? So it is single steps corresponding to if t n t n if n smaller than or equal to two, you need to have two steps, two minutes, or else we want you to recursively check two n minus two Hamburgs, right? So it's equal to t n minus two. You have to handle with this one plus you have to handle what it is. You fried, you know, the pick up a two and the fry that it take two times. It's n larger than 2, right? Larger than 2. It's let's use capital 2. Then if this is recursive relation, and what could be the random? Okay, I would like to get the loads. So this Freinberger problem can be Formulate this recursive relation Tn equal to 2 if n larger than equal to larger greater than or equal to 2 or Tn minus 2 plus 2 if n sorry this should be smaller than or equal to 2 greater than 2 right now we see the not all the recursive relation you can use the master methods right master methods only use the master methods okay let me go here let me redo that check that the master method should have the you no know, the must the recursive relation when you decided to use master method for recurrences, only when the format is equal to Tn equal to A Tn divided by B plus some function, right? Right? In this case, you can use master methods. Now, in the case what we check now, you cannot use this master method, right? So which method you want to use? You have to use a substitution and such that we say Tn, first we use iter iteration methods, right? And to guess what it could be, so this is you have Tn minus 2 plus 2 is equal to replace this one by use this recurrences, right? You play, replace n with n minus 2, you got you know, Tn minus 2 equal to Tn minus 4 plus 2. So this is a Tn minus 4, let's get here, minus 4, plus 2, plus 2, right? And we continue, continue, and we have replaced this one, Tn minus 4, to be Tn minus 6, plus 2, plus 2, plus 2. And you can see here, you have 3, three times plus two right no then you continue and you can see here doesn't matter how many this recursive relation replacement happen and it could be equal to tn minus let's see we run for k times right and then if minus three k times this should be have two k right And if, let's just say here, right? If 2k is equal to n minus 2, then we have tn is equal to t2 plus, right? It's 2k, n minus 2. And here we have 2 plus n minus 2 is no, theta n, right? With if, another case, if we take 2k is not 
uh, n minus 2 is n minus 2 is not an even number, but it is odd number, then in that case it is, as you see, this is minus 1, right? It's the same thing. And we have Tn, let's move this one to here, okay. Tn equal to T1 plus n minus 1, and this is 2, so we have n plus 2 is O n. Oh, and right. So now let's say T n is equal to O n. So this is solution. Okay. The second way people want to check to you check on you, you understand or not understand, it is give you the code. We only identify recurrence relation and also solve this uh, time complexity problem. Take a look at this algorithm. It's riddle and give an array have an element from 0 through n minus 1. And if n equal to 1, return n0, or else you retrieve, you use the same procedure, get a, get the uh, elements from 0 through n minus 2. Right? And if tempo is greater than or smaller than or equal to a n minus 1, return tempo, or else return a n minus 1. So this recursion is equal to, let's just say we, we check for runtime, right? Runtime here is equal to, if it's equal to t n minus 1 plus, plus, Plus the runtime for check this re, re, no, recursion. Check for this comparison. If tempo is smaller than this one, return tempo. So we see here when you do this one, it do not finish it, right? You have to recursively move it to go to the here and check if it means it's only when n equal to 1, it will return a 0. And you check if a 0 is smaller than or equal to what you have, n minus 1. Okay, this one I want to show you. Let's give you one example, right? They will be making make more things. And this one will want to ask you what it is the runtime for what is runtime for remaining steps, right? Let's give you an example. Let's say we have a we have two five one right at least and such that the riddle a and it will invoke this one this function it will go to the check for riddle let's simply find that a n minus one right it's n is n minus one and we do not finish it we check for a for right riddle a n minus two right since n is a three so this will be n two is will be n one right once you go to n one it will be exactly you will retrieve it will retrieve a zero right it will return two return two to here and then you have two compared to what you have is a n minus one and uh, no, um, in that case, if this is a 2, 5, 1, this what you have is 2, 5, right? So what you retrieve the a n minus 1, the, there will be 2. If it's equal to 2, it will return 2 to put it here, right? And then it finish for this step, it will go to here and check and the tempo 2 with a n minus 1. Is m a n minus one corresponding to you have five, and in that case it will return a n minus one. It's what we return one. 
So here the run time corresponded to you check you check for this step, right? Once you finish this one, you compare this number with the last element in the given array and to decide what to do. In this case, you only need to have one constant runtime. And so also for the odd recursive relation, we have to decide what it is the base case. In the base case, we only need to have one step. It's n smaller than or equal to one, right? Smaller than or equal to one. So this is what we have the recursive relation. Based on this recursive relation, we would like you solve this time complex problem. Let's put the loose here. And such that we have Tn equal to one if n smaller than or equal to one Tn minus 1 plus 1 if n larger than 1, right? And we say that we cannot use master method in this case. We have to use the substitution. And we have Tn, we substitute this Tn minus 1 with Tn minus 2, right? We replace what you have this one to be plus 1 plus 1, right? Yes, we do. Then we continue, we work on that. We replace Tn minus 2 to be a Tn minus 3 plus 1. Okay, I think I have to delete this one. Okay. Good. Then we can go to here, right? We see that, you know, replace this one to be Tn minus 3 plus 1. We replace what we have here to this guy, right? And a plus 1, plus 1. And this is what we have. And this is from the other side. And we continue this procedure. And we see Tn minus n minus 1 plus. You see, you have how many? No, this is 3. How many 1 you have? Tn minus 1, right? So this will be T1 plus n minus 1. And T1 is equal to 1, so we have n here. And also, it's corresponding to big O n. Then we solve this problem. Okay, that's very good. Let's go to check for next one. Almost finish it. So um, sometimes people want to check, you know, uh, people you know, ask you, you know, people give you the recursive relation, just like what we practiced, you know, in the previous slides. People want to ask you what is time complexity. This one I would like you to know, leave to you to solve that. And also this is related to our assignment. Okay, I think we finish this video. Let me know if you have any question.